All right, so now that I have some sections and views, I'm ready to place some reinforcements inside of my structure. So I'm gonna open my bar shape tool, and the first one I'm going to do is our free form. This is great, it just allows you to simply draw the shape of the bar that you want using the edges as your guide. You are able to specify concrete cover um, as an edge distance from each of these faces. You can control them individually. I can add hooks on here. If I change the size of my bar, it's automatically going to update hook lengths, bending pin diameters, all of that is according to ACI, CRSI, whatever spec that you're using. We have many of them. You can also override these on the fly, uh, enter in your own custom lengths and values, or you can save these as a company standard. Uh, here, I'm just going to specify that I want exact leg lengths. I didn't draw them to a specific edge, so now I can just simply say that I want those to be uh, seven feet in both legs. All plan is great in that it's always trying to predict what you want to do next. So immediately after I shape a bar, it's going to ask me if I want to label it. Uh, you can see a lot of these are just simple check boxes. So I choose, do I want to see my Martin number, my number of pieces, what have you. Again, I can save this, load these as favorites. Now I can even do a little shape of my bar that I have over here on the side. Uh, automatic placement is great. It will go and find the extents of your concrete. Um, pretty easily, especially for those simple orthogonal structures. Um, let me set up spacing here of one feet. So you can see it went and easily found the top and bottom of my um, wing wall here, wherever this shape was supposed to land. Uh, if it was a little more difficult, I could specify this myself. I just simply do what we call placing line. So I just draw a straight line down which I want to space out these bars. Uh, you'll notice I have lots of options in my palettes, whether I'm entering the number of pieces or the spacing. Of course, it's gonna calculate one from the other and go back and forth. It's also given me heads up information about uh, rebar area in terms of square inches per foot. Uh, I can also define the take up, right? If you're doing an equal spacing and an unequal length, it's going to have some extra dimensions. You can choose how that is uh, filled in for you. And then finally, after we uh, place the bar, it's going to ask us if we want to dimension the bar. Uh, so it's gonna do that whole tool chain for us, shape, label, place, dimension. So you're always getting your 2D along with the 3D. And you can see here that it's put those bars in 3D for us. Of course, I'm working in different sections, but it's updating those in real time. Uh, not only the section itself, but these labels. So I can use, I can edit these after the fact. They're parametric, they stay parametric. Uh, one way I can do that is right here through the direct object modification. And so I can enter values to update it right on screen. We can see that these values, the count, um, sorry, the, the quantity, the spacing have updated on both of our labels. Anywhere that it's going to appear, it's going to be updated. That's true as well for our schedules. So I'll put one of those down. Right now, we can see that. And then as I add more bars, we'll actually see this list grow and change for us automatically.